Hey, no creative friends. It's Eugenia from Art No Time with Atelier, and today we're gonna be reviewing Paul Rubens' uh, artist grade soft pastel. Um, so uh, I thought to to do this um, uh, review <laughs> to hurry up and do it now because uh, I have already started using them uh, and. Um, yeah, I'm using them a lot. I do like them and uh, I'm afraid that they're going to start losing their shapes very soon. <laughs> uh, so it, they come in this beautiful, um, luxurious box. Um, they are 40 in total. For the moment, that's all they have. Uh, 40 pastels. So it's uh, 40 colors, sorry. Uh, it comes with this little booklet. Uh, it is. It is all. Oh, sorry. Oh, the tripod. Sorry. Okay. Uh, it is written in English and in Chinese too. Uh, very very small writing. It is very difficult to read. Use the uh, okay. Yeah, the, there's some uh, instructions and the list of the colors from this side, and uh, we're talking a little bit about um, the history of the company and uh, how the pastels are generally made. So there's a little bit of information here. Baseball writing. If uh, you are a little bit older than me, that I started wearing glasses the last year, yeah, make sure that you have your glasses with you. <laughs> uh, anyway, so it comes also with um, this um, little chart by the looks of it. I've got it already. Um, Ultimate artist handmade soft pattern is made of high quality toner and carefully process, processed. The color of products in jute color. Well, okay, it's talking about the, the quality. And oh, here it is. Um, well, well, I'm going to be using that to, uh, to create a chart. And then in here it is all. Uh, nicely packed with foam uh, very safely and all the pastels which already have started dirtying them as you can tell unfortunately um, I've used them so it's not unfortunately it's fortunate because if I'm using them means that I really like them and it's, they're, they're good uh, it's a good product so uh, I will start with the um, putting uh, the colors on the chart and then we're going to uh, uh, test them on different uh, sanded papers a white and black and uh, beige and then we're going to do a little comparison between the mangio uh, the sennelier and um, the rebrand okay i've got some um, uh, What's the name of those ones? I oh, forget the names. And the unison. I don't have many of those. <laughs> They're a bit pricey. But uh, yeah, so I will start putting the colors here. So I'm going to fast forward this part because it might be a little bit boring. And, uh, and then we will uh, talk more when we get to the other surfaces.
when my sister created the chart as um, uh, they have organized it and uh, now uh, what happens I have noticed uh, a few things about this uh, set uh, to begin with there are some nice bright colors that uh, neutrals and that they're very handy when you need some highlights uh, and also the oranges are very bright now I know they're a little bit dirty mine and that's why they, but they're very bright um, the, the reds are really nice even then uh, they're not very similar but it's, it's similar tones um, maybe a, a little bit more darker or, or at least that's how it looks on this paper um, I like the reds I like the uh, the brights um, they have some nice greys but I just noticed that there are a few similar ones those two colors are very similar to me I know this is more green this is a little bit more gray more neutral but at the, mo the at the moment that there is no greens at all on this set and no purples about of about this bluish little bluish purple uh, about of this there's no purple uh, uh, there's no light blues that you do need and the greens are only those olive greens and this teal um, yeah I think we, we wouldn't need two colors so similar uh, actually even though <laughs> even even this one I think one of those colors would be enough to create a painting uh, then okay this is uh, this black has a little bit blue in there which I don't mind uh, but then we're getting those two blacks but this is a little bit darker this is a little bit more uh, matted uh, black I think this one would be enough and this color would be replaced with something else those two again they're very similar very close to each other <coughs> So yeah, there are some uh, colors that are they're very similar, and uh, it's probably that's why they have um, put them in that order, which doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, the the selection is not the great greater the gra the greatest selection of colors, but um, I really like them when they lay down on uh, the paper they're, they're soft they're, uh, they're rich and vibrant so I can't complain they're, they're, they're good quality so even if there are some doubles I'm still happy to use this set and then uh, add the colors that I don't have from my other sets but definitely you cannot get away and create a whole piece I mean you can uh, uh, I did um, uh, create some pieces uh, just with um, the Paul Rubens set but some other subjects are how to take out my Rembrandt or, or my Sennelier ones now the other thing that I have noticed and I'm not very really impressed is the difference of the size of the the length is kind of the same but the width it's much 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 smaller some of them uh, some of them they're nice and thick uh, oh no where did they get from from here um, yeah the, the most of them they're nice and thick but then you get some of them that they're really tiny uh, I've found that there were about four of them like this very skinny um, so it means less pigment but the price wise they're very economical um, 
my memory because I got them I think in November it was the 1111 uh, sale from uh, Aliexpress because it, uh, for the moment I haven't seen them anywhere else only from the official uh, Paul Rubens store uh, at um, Aliexpress and uh, they, they were only 40, I think 40 Australian dollars which is very good price for um, handmade um, pastels so um, I won't say that I'm 100% thrilled with this set only because um, the selection of the colors uh, <clears throat> for those the size of them uh, some of the smaller well too bad they're not it's not the majority of them uh, it is probably four or five they're a little bit skinnier I'm not gonna make a um, big fuss about <laughs> um, but yeah I would I would rather uh, if they can rearrange a little bit the colors and add some greens and purples and uh, I mean I, I do like all, all the nude colors and the olives and green gray that they have but how many can I put on a painting of those ones we still need some some purples and some uh, greens there's no greens it's, like, it's there's literally no green I mean this is olive that doesn't consider those two are olive they don't consider as green this is green this is still there's absolutely no green uh, there's no light blue um only those intense blues um was a great I, I love the uh, the the dark uh, colors but um you do need light ones too um and then and uh, there's no purple about this one um yeah so I'm I'm not very impressed from and and pink pink okay there is pink say that you can mix it with your uh, white and you can create some pinks I mean I, I like the skin tone uh, I like this gray the, they are nice colors I mean the, the, it's it's a set of forty only so probably they would should be considering to make maybe a larger set to add a few more colors so that's all about the actual complaints from the color selection <laughs> uh, and, and let's um, let's make a little trial now of, with uh, on, on the different surfaces so what I have done here I have uh, chosen um, from four different brands that I have uh, this blue which is a dark blue and uh, I would say that it is closer to um, which blue probably this one from Paul Rubens so this is the Paul Rubens one and this is the Rembrandt this is the Sennelier, which is actually very similar. Sennelier is a little bit thicker, but it's a little bit shorter. So it's, it's very similar uh, amount of pigment. Uh, this is the Mangio, the handmade uh, ones, which is uh, same, very similar thickness, maybe a little bit skinnier, the Paul Rubens. And obviously shorter because it's this is half stick this is a full stick and the unison ones which they are really pretty um this is the full stick and uh we'll see how we go with those and how we're gonna compare them and uh then i've got some bright ones i just got uh, the mangio the sommelier, the, the reverend and I will use this one from Paul Rubens 
I already cleaned it a little bit. And this is the Paul Rubens one. Okay, so let's start with the, on the on the white surface. This is the um, I have primed them all with uh, the uh, I think I put the white gesso for all of them. So I will start obviously with the <coughs> Paul Rubens one. I should probably write down what they are, but that's okay. I'm following that. So here's the Paul Rubens one. It is uh, covering beautifully on a uh, on the white. I'll just see it on different paper. And obviously this is because it's black, it's difficult to see. Uh, I will, and uh, next time I'm going to just put them in the way, the same uh, order that I have lined them up. Okay, this is the, the red brand. This is from the extra dark ones, so... As you can tell, the, the reverend ones must harder and it's 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 much more stringier Paul Rubens for the moment it's much more creamier and gets into the tooth much more than the Rembrandt one so it's much softer the next one that we'll, we will try is the Sennelier I would say that's very similar in the, the soft from the softness. Oh, Rubens is another I would put them very close to together, side by side almost. And this is the mangier ones. <coughs> oh, yeah, the mangier. Uh, hardness wise I would say that it is between um, it is between the Sennelier and the Rembrandt so I would say that it's <clears throat> it's a little bit harder than the uh, Paul Rubens ones, and then at the end, I'm going to use the Unisonic. But it's very, very extremely soft. I would say this is the softest one. Definitely the most velvety color. It's, it's just amazing, those ones. And um, now I will do the little test also to see how they cover. Obviously, they're covering nicely. Uh, as you can tell, the softer ones, they're covering more than the harder ones. And the black and uh, the sour less. The harder they are, the, the sour the, le the least. And the covering the least. The other one, okay, so this is, again, the... Paul Rubens one in yellow. Now let's have a look how we're gonna go with the yellow, the bright ones. Wow, look how bright they are. It's it's amazing how it uh, how it stands out on the on the black. So so pigmented. So the next one is the reverend one. We know that they are harder. So let's see what happens here. Still very vibrant and pigmented. Okay. 
ribbons are very high quality. I mean, all of these brands are really very high quality. The sommelier, obviously. And the mind you. Sorry, I don't have a unison one. Because I only have some drugs for the unison. And too pricey for me to have a large set. So, um, we can say they are all pigmented. We can we can tell how bright they are on the black. Uh, they are all covering excellent. Um, Paul Rubens is up there uh, with all the rest of the good brands. Um, yeah, you can't go around with those. Um, I'm, definitely, you can uh, produce a really nice uh, work. Um, so I would, I would be. Really, uh, uh, I don't have much to say about this set. It's just great. Uh, I only feel like that. I would like to have a few extra, um, a few extra colors, and that's all. I, I can't fault it on anything. Um, the softness is is good. The vibrancy is great. <clears throat> the pigments are very very vibrant, uh, smooth, soft, yeah, I'm really happy, I will keep on w w working with them, <laughs> uh, and I should have cleaned them before, but uh, uh, I was just too much in a hurry to do the review, I am... Um, You know, when uh, I just don't want to play around with my supplies, I just want to use them and create artwork. Because my time is limited, unfortunately. So, they're so soft that you just wipe them and lift it with a tissue. And uh, come back to the normal color. And I'm making dust everywhere and I should stop doing that. <laughs> So, um, I hope that that was a little bit helpful for you guys. Uh, uh, my advice, yeah, just just go for it. They, they, um, they, they're great. They're amazing. Here they are. They're covering beautifully. They're vibrant. And they're very, very good price for the moment at least. So, um, I would uh, recommend it uh, for sure. Uh, they are a great little set, a great little addition. Um, it's the only thing is that you need to get another little. Uh, no, no, oh, great! Now I'm gonna put it like this, and I'm gonna smudge. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> might gonna have to put some glycine or something. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so I hope that uh, I gave you some idea about uh, this beautiful uh, polymer set. Uh, I would encourage you to uh, to get it, um, but only if you want to add to another set that you already have. Because it's n there's not enough colors on that. Um, quality wise, I'm thrilled. I love it. Um, so thumbs up, Paul Rubens. <laughs>
with, with all different mediums and styles and don't forget to click the notification bell so you get notified every time we are uploading a video and also the notification helps you to see what kind of video it is so if you like the video and the think the subject you can come and watch it if not wait for the next one so again thank you for watching me and hopefully we'll see you soon at my next video till then be happy be creative and keep painting <laughs> bye for now